We should be able to cook here. Did we really just spend that much money? Okay, whose turn is it to cook today? Nice try, Law. 
We all know it's your turn. Damn, was I that obvious? All right, guess I'll get to it. Wait, before you get started... Remember when the three of us fixed pancakes back on the farm? I remember how weirdly proud you were of yours. Wait, don't tell me you want a rematch. Oh, no, nothing like that. It's just... I've been thinking about something ever since that day. I used every trick in the book to make the perfect pancake, and yet... You're wondering why you lost, right? Pretty sure it's because you pumped Isara here with enough sugar to give a zoogle a... Anyways... I've come up with a recipe, and was hoping you guys could taste them and tell me what you think. Alright. I'm up for round two. Challenge accepted. Wait, are we all doing this? Uh, come on. Shion's clearly put a lot of work into this. I'm sure they'll be great. Right, everyone? <sighs> Thanks. Okay, wait here. I'll have them fixed up in just a few moments. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Here are your pancakes. I can't wait. Let's see how they taste. <sighs> <clears throat> Damn. The way these spices jump about in your mouth, you'd think they'd cancel each other out, but somehow they work brilliantly. They're so sweet, I feel like they'll melt in my mouth. Every bite makes me feel like I'm in heaven. Holy crap! These are so rich, just the way I like them! I can't stop stuffing them in my face! You chose the perfect ingredients and heated them just enough to bring out their flavor. Amazing! The presentation is simply exquisite, and they have such a pure, refined taste to them as well. They're, They're perfect. perfect! Shion, these pancakes are amazing! Really? I'm so glad they turned out well. Although, don't we all seem to have different impressions of how they actually taste? You're right. It's like everyone was eating something completely different. Here, let me take a bite of yours, Alfin. It's true. I fine-tuned them to suit each person's unique tastes. <laughs> You did that for everyone's pancakes? That must have been a lot of extra work. It was, but I learned something important in doing so. You see, I was so focused on trying to make something that I thought would please people, that I forgot to consider who I was actually serving. Here, water! <laughs> Thanks, Renwell. I thought I was a goner. What's important as a cook isn't what I want people to feel about my food. It's about accommodating what they're looking for in a meal. Well said, Xion. I'm so proud of you for figuring that out. No recipe is complete without love and care for whoever's eating it. Those alone make a dish taste better than any spice could. So one might say that what makes a meal are both those who prepare it and those who eat it rather than the food alone. How insightful. You've grown so much as a cook, Xion. I have nothing left to teach you. Oh, thank you, Master. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> uh. Smells nice. It's probably the accessory I picked up earlier. It uses materials that put off a pleasing aroma. Ooh, that sounds lovely. I'm jealous. Wanna try it on? I'm sure it'll look great on you. 
Really? I'd love to! Shion, about that fight just now... Sorry about that. I was careless. I didn't come to criticize you. Just please take better care of yourself. You don't need to worry about me. In case you forgot, I can't exactly die anyway. It's like how you used to not care about getting beat up because you couldn't feel pain, and then I was the one to patch you up. It's the same thing. You're right. That is how I used to be. But this isn't the same. Then what do you mean? How is what's happening now different from what happened then? It's different now. Look, if you mean because you can feel pain again, I... It's because I don't want to see you getting hurt! <sighs> You're right. When I couldn't feel any pain, I put myself in all sorts of dangerous situations. I didn't listen to anybody's warnings, and I made a lot of people worried for no good reason. That was foolish. This isn't about you and me being able to take pain. I... I don't want to have to see you get hurt, Shion. It's too much for me to take. Is that a crazy thing to say? No, it isn't. And I... I definitely don't like seeing you get hurt either, Alfin. We can't expect our enemies to show us any mercy, but I will do my best not to throw myself in harm's way out there either. How does that sound? I'm sorry if I sounded harsh earlier. I didn't mean to. I just really want you to take better care of yourself. I will. At least, for as long as I can. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? Would you perchance be interested in going on a walk together? Why? You're not on guard duty for another few hours. Which is why I want to walk. To hear the music in these parts. Music? Where are you going to find musicians all the way out here? There's more to music than what people play. It's in the grass, fluttering in the wind, the leaves in the trees, and the songs of birds and insects. Once you open your ears, you'll find that music is truly everywhere in this world. What sounds like music depends on who's listening, huh? <laughs> it's an interesting idea, but I think it might be a little too difficult for me. Speaking of music, whatever happened to your instruments? You used to be a musician, didn't you? Those are well out of my reach at this point. That aside, I don't feel that I yet have the right to play any of them again. You could say that it is in part my way of atoning for that which I have failed to do over the years. Meaning that you haven't completely given up on making things right. Do you think me a fool stuck in the past? Not at all. In fact, far from it. You sound like you're still holding out hope for a brighter future. 
Picture yourself being able to play your music again. Doesn't that motivate you to keep going even when things get tough? Hmm? I see what you mean. I didn't realize that drive still lingered within me. The darkness in one's heart is sure to manifest in their music. However, I promise you that one day, when that darkness has finally lifted, I shall let you hear me perform. Well, now that you've said it, you're gonna have to follow through. I look forward to hearing you play. Next time, what say we discuss relics? Once we finish eating, we should get going. <laughs>